Hello person watching this video, my name's The Beak, and you join me here, sitting on the Keynote Totem teleporter. Now, why why have I linked the mainframe? You know, why have I fought my way through hordes of zombies? Well, it's because real quick, you and me, we're gonna teleport back to two years ago. The year is 2022. And besides being the year where hands down, one of the best games of all time came out, Overwatch 2. It was also the year where me, I started stumbled across something on YouTube that's pretty damn interesting. It's something that I even made a dedicated video on the time. A video that, well, a video that comparing it to today's standards, it's, it's, it really isn't the best, like, please don't go back and watch it. Oh my god, my hair was so long. Thing is though, ever since making that video, the thing I spoke about, sure, I remember what it was, but it kind of vanished into the dark recesses of my mind until recently. You see, there I was, uh, sitting Man, at my I'm desk, gonna, raging I'm at Space Marine 2's multiplayer, and scripting a video about the dead internet theory. Comment, I am not a robot if you want to see that. But when I looked over at my other monitor, I saw, I saw a video with a face staring at me. And the title of that video, it wasn't anything crazy or clickbait or insane drama situation or something, that god no. All it was, was this. A full stop. Person watching this video today, you and me, we're gonna be revisiting one of the strangest, weirdest corners on the entirety of YouTube. So how about you sit down, get comfy, help me get to 200,000 subscribers by clicking that subscribe button. We're really, 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 really close. And brace yourself, because today, you and me, we're gonna be going down the full stop punctuation rabbit hole. Right, before we dive too far down into the depths of the full stop punctuation rabbit hole abyss, before we confront the full stop head on, I reckon now is as good a time as ever to firstly try our best to understand the base level full stop law. What exactly is the full stop punctuation rabbit hole? And, and why is the full stop punctuation rabbit hole? Plain and simple, if you go onto YouTube right now in this current moment of existence, click on the search bar and type in full stop punctuation or just a full stop, literally just this, what you'll find is, 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 well, it's, it, it, it's kind of weird. It's, it's kind of strange. When did I last shit myself? Now? Yeah, this side of YouTube, it's filled to the brim with videos either having thumbnails with the faces, you know, faces that stare into your soul, ooh, or thumbnails having screenshots from videos that, that, uh, that, uh, if, if I don't want my channel to go to the Shadow Realm, I, I can't show them on screen. Back on track though, what happens if you click on one of these videos? What happens if you double tap the video with the spooky man staring at you? More on that later. Before we click on one of these videos, we still need to answer that second question from earlier. Why is the full stop punctuation rabbit hole? Why, why, why does this side of YouTube exist in the first place? Well, nobody really knows for certain. I, I don't have a fully concrete answer, but hey, here's the agreed upon game theory. Look, as we all know, YouTube, it's, it's a website where you can upload videos. So, of course, it's got rules and regulations and policies or to stop people from A, uploading, uploading, uploading really, really, really fucked up stuff, like, I don't know, uh, live leak type videos, and B, breaking copyright rules. Look, I really hate to be the very bad news person watching this video, but, but you can't upload entire yeah. episodes of, of Family Guy here. onto YouTube. <laughs> And this is where the full stop punctuation rabbit hole comes into the picture. You see, it's believed that in order to bypass some of these regulations, what people would do is that they would upload their videos. But then instead of giving them a title like, uh, can I beat Dark Souls 3 before I overdose on Vicodin? All they would type is this. A full stop. Apparently doing this would prevent YouTube's also moderation terminations from flagging your video. How? I, 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 uh, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> if you ask me, it seems like kind of a massive oversight. But apparently that's the reason why videos like these started popping up on YouTube.
Is this what people see at the Diddy party? <laughs> and now that we know the what and the why, now that we've covered the base level lore, here's our board. Let me just go ahead and link the dots real quick. There you go. <coughs> I think it's time that you and me, we take our mouse and click on some of these videos. <laughs> I'm no, I'm not looking behind me. Look at this. Oof. Now, if you do actually decide to go onto this side of YouTube for yourself, look, please, please don't. Just, 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 just don't do it. I mean, you'll see, you'll, you'll just see some really weird stuff. To put it very lightly, but if you do, if you don't heed my warning, after a little bit of uh, scrolling and watching and thinking and pondering, you'll soon notice that. Uh, okay, this side of YouTube, it isn't as simple as click on video. Ooh, it's something spooky. I'm sure, those do exist. I don't. I don't want to watch this. <laughs> I'm a massive bitch when it comes to horror. I don't want to watch this. But if anything, the full stop punctuation rabbit hole side of YouTube, you can take it and divvy it up into three different camps. And hey, before we get too far ahead of ourselves and why all the words spooky is still in my brain, I guess we should start at camp number one, the spooky side. Stop! Stop walking up the thing! <laughs> yes, much like these videos' thumbnails, lots of them are horror, scary, who John Evil videos. But not in the, oh, we need to make something scary, let's put a jump scare every single second. No, these videos, they play into something called psychological horror. Plain and simple, psychological horror, it's a style of horror where instead of having uh, Freddy Fazbear for you every couple of seconds, instead, this style of horror, it really tries its best to unnerve you, uh, make you feel unsettled. To do this, these kinds of videos, they've got weird sound effects and uh, odd music and strange visuals. Oftentimes shots, they linger for an uncomfortable amount of time. And I ain't gonna lie, person watching this video, this is something that me, I find really interesting about psychological horror. Now, I know, look, trust me, I do. As time has gone on, the concept of psychological horror, it has, it has been a little bit overdone. Especially on YouTube and in analog horror horror type videos. It seems like every day now there's some brand new, oh, oh no, it's scary. Oh, it's a creepy buster character. That will, that will, <laughs> it will somehow find its way into a Roblox obby. Go. He's right behind me, isn't he? Even still, though, it is something that I find interesting. Why? Well, it's because, in all honesty, at its core, psychological horror, it's pretty damn simple. If you're making a psychological horror type of thing, it's not like you need insane visuals or crazy production value or 25 million million shekel effects. Nah, as I said, all you really need to do is get something creepy looking, put some soft, weird music and sound effects in the background and have it stay on screen for a bit too long. Like, uh, here you go, Mr. Editor, <laughs> psychological Logical horror me. That, and I also think that psychological horror, it plays into one of all of us homo sapiens' primal fears. The fear of not really being able to fully comprehend what the fuck is going on. And you know what? Round two of me not lying on the internet for once. Me being an absolute monumental bitch when it comes to anything horror related at all. Back when phasmophobia used to be a thing, I pretty much lived in the van. Where the fuck are you? I'm, 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 be I'm busy. Wait, I, I'm, I'm, I'm busy. Save me! Yeah, all of this camp one horror full stop punctuation stuff, it, it makes me feel a little bit spooked. You know, the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. I, I, I don't know why, it, it just does. <laughs> so now I think it's time that you and me, we migrate from camp one to camp two. Let's move from spooky videos to here. Shit posting. Yeah, besides finding psychological horror, why is the man staring at me like that videos on this side of YouTube? You'll also find a few shit posts here and there. Kind of, kind of mid shit posts, if I'm being completely honest, but shit posts nonetheless. Why are there shit posts? Why are there videos with creepy thumbnails? But then when you click on them, it's just stuff like this. <laughs> I am leg. Wait, wait, what? Wait. <laughs> I am late. This is like one of those stupid Gmod horror maps. You know, like this is like 
oh it's like you're playing gmod you know and you're walking around like you're playing gmod and you're doing this shit right like your character's like ah my head's ah. you're looking around like and then there's like a png that goes Well, you see, back in the day when people first started noticing full stop punctuation videos on YouTube and first started talking about them on... I think it was around 2019, according to this Know Your Meme article was back then. Full stop punctuation was first being discovered at the same time that greenish Pokemon was unleashed. During that time, full stop punctuation videos, they weren't shitposty. Now, instead, apparently, it was a lot more, a lot more elsa gate -y. You know, videos where Spider-Man and Elsa would get up to some tomfoolery and then boo on each other. Thing is though, once again looking at this Know You Meme article, sure, people first started talking about full stop punctuation in 2019, but online conversations and let's say uh, online public knowledge about it, it only really started to pick up steam in 2020 and 2021. And what happens when something starts to get popular on the internet, person watching this video? Besides kids channels absorbing it into their slop of videos via osmosis, people start making, <laughs> people start making ironic shit posts. Look at anything that's gotten uh, not, not even insanely popular. Something that's just gotten a whiff, a, a sniff of popularity. You will find shit posts about it. Sure, lots of these videos, they've got spooky, scary thumbnails, but there's a chance that if you click on one of them, instead of being met with something like this, it's just some shit posts. Then all the person who uploaded the video is trying to do is ride the popularity of full stop punctuation, which is something that I also find interesting. In in the past, I've spoken about a shit ton of rabbit holes where really weird YouTubers try to ride the wave of popular kids' things, you know, you know, dodgy and credit game videos and comic dubs and Minecraft Monster School and all of that type of stuff. And sure, going down those rabbit holes, I found a lot, and I mean a lot, of just absolutely horrible shit. Like, some of it's still sticking in my brain. Do you want to know what I didn't find a lot of, though? It was shit posts. Something that is the complete opposite when looking at full stop punctuation. Why has this happened? Well, I reckon it has to do with how, let's say, full stop punctuation shit posts, how they compounded on top of each other. Here's my game theory. You see, in the beginning, full stop punctuation, it was filled with horror and Elsa Gate type videos. But as it grew and grew and grew and grew and grew in popularity, a couple of people online looked at this popularity and thought to themselves, huh, okay. I want to get some of those views too. But then, instead of actually downloading a ooh, scary video, instead, you know what? You know what? Nah, nah I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to upload something for my camera roll onto YouTube. But then, but then, you know, here's, here's the genius of it. I'm going to give it a spooky, scary, creepypasta thumbnail to bait people into watching my ooh, it's, it's a spooky video. These people did this, got a shit ton of views, and then more and more and more and more and more people started to do it too. Vice versa. So the cycle continues, and here we are today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and hey, before we go any further, you know, before we migrate from Cam 2 to Cam 3, here's our board from earlier. I think we should update it a little bit. As we spoke about earlier, if you go onto YouTube right now, click on the search bar and type in a full stop or the words full stop punctuation, instead of finding videos about, I don't know, <laughs> grammar, instead you'll find video after video after video, all having really just strange horror creepypasta themed thumbnails. Why do these videos exist? Well, well, back in the day, apparently titling your video with a full stop, it would bypass YouTube's auto moderation bots, letting you upload pretty much anything you wanted to. However, if you actually sit down and watch some of these videos, after a little bit, you'll soon notice that, okay, cool, this side of YouTube, it can be divided up into three different camps. Camp one being the spooky side, housing videos based in psychological horror. Camp two being shit posts made by people wanting to ride the popularity of full stop punctuation. And camp three being, 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 well, uh, what in the name of all that's holy is the, huh? What, what is this title? <laughs> Welcome to Full Stop Punctuation Rabbit Hole Camp Number 3. Whatever in the name of all that's holy this is. You see, in between watching videos like these, 
Every so often, I would see a video with a title like this pop up in my recommended. And even now, you know, a couple days later when I'm recording this green screen stuff, I'm 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 still confused. Like like what 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 actually is this? But hey, I do like a good challenge. So let's try to get to the bottom of this. Firstly, I want to make this abundantly clear. Do not search this up. Some of the shit I saw when looking into however the fuck you pronounce this, it's it's genuinely just like disgusting. It's not like, oh, spooky thumbnail, but then when you click on it, it's like a shit post or like a weird psychological horror video. Now, gotta, some of this stuff is just, it's actually fucked. Besides coming across videos that showcase gory movie scenes, I also, I, I, I also came across some real life stuff, like very, very just fucking disturbing shit. Once again, I'm saying it again. Do not search this up. But secondly, though, if you couldn't tell from the words that just came out my mouth, this isn't just a once-off video with a really weird weird title. Now instead, if you type this into the YouTube search bar, just like full stop punctuation, you'll come across video after video after video, all having the same exact title or extremely similar ones. If anything, this shit, it's like an extension of full stop punctuation. However, where things start to get even weirder is when you look at the descriptions of these videos. Hmm, okay, lots of these videos have weird symbols in their descriptions too. Symbols that matter match their titles. Okay, this is strange. My brain is instantly thinking cipher, so hey, let's check if it's a cipher. Right, here's a title on these videos. Here we go. Ah, huh, okay, that's weird. It's just nonsense text. What about the description? Oh, damn, okay, nothing there either. Man, I'm still so confused, and it looks like I'm not the only person who doesn't know what's going on. While trying to get to the bottom of what this exactly is, I came across a Reddit thread filled with people asking the same question as me. Well, some of these people referencing a creepypasta character called Long Horse, and others talking about some Spanish shitposting creepypasta thing. But no matter how hard I look, I, I just can't find anything to substantiate these claims. This is just so weird. Like, I, I, don't, I don't get it. Like, I, I don't, I just don't understand. But wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. If anything, Maybe that's the point. Hear me out here for a second. Maybe, maybe this style of title and description, maybe it's meant to confuse us. Almost in a way, baiting us into clicking on these videos. Maybe this stuff is meant to play off of our morbid curiosity. I mean, speaking for myself here, I see something like this. I'm interested, so I click on the video. It's creepy, sure, but there's just something in my brain that, that compels me to click on these videos. Mostly for the worst, as I said earlier, some of this stuff, some of this stuff is just absolutely fucked. And you know what? Since there are so many channels uploading these kinds of videos, maybe, just maybe, this is like a group deliberately trying to mess with and creep people out. That, or it's a whole bunch of people trying to dodge YouTube's auto-moderation bots, the same thing that people were doing with full stop punctuation, you know, titling their videos with a full stop. I don't know for certain, but what I do know is that this stuff is just, it's just really, really strange and just, just weird. And while it may not be a conventional cipher, surely, surely these symbols mean something. This must be a code of some sort. There are just too many videos, all with the same kinds of titles for this not to be something. Hey, you know what? Maybe, maybe this is an ARG. I, I just, I just don't know. Like, I, 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 I don't know what's going on. And now that we've spoken about camp number three, let's update our board one final time. As I said earlier, if you go onto YouTube right now and type in full stop punctuation or literally just a full stop, you'll find strange, just weird video after video after video. Think Thing is though, if you look a little bit deeper, you'll soon notice that, okay, cool, there are three different types of videos that pop up on this side of YouTube. Camp 1 being psychological horror type of videos, Camp 2 being shit posts, and Camp 3 being videos that pop up with titles and descriptions containing weird symbols and characters. What these characters and symbols actually mean? I don't know for certain. Either it's people trying to mess with others by filling their titles with nothing simple 
symbols in order to bait them into watching their creepy and sometimes downright disturbing videos. Or this is a group of people trying to mess with people. Or this is people trying to dodge YouTube's moderation bots. Regardless though, I mean this when I say this person watching this video, please do not search up this stuff for yourself. If you do, there's a really good chance you may come across something that, yes, uh, I, I don't think I'll be forgetting some of the stuff I saw anytime soon. And some of this shit, it's just, it's just genuinely vile. This is the full stop punctuation rabbit hole. One of, one of the, one of the weirdest, it's most bizarre rabbit holes I think I've ever seen. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like on this video, you know, subscribe, bell notification, <laughs> buzzword, 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 and I'll see you soon. Number 15, subscribe to the beak. If you don't, you will suffer a severe case of cringe and you are taking part in bozo behavior. Thanks for watching. I've seen that one a lot. YouTube rabbit holes are something that have always interested me. Why the fuck am I here?